show y'all how I do my pimento cheese. I'm not gonna write it down, so if you love pimento cheese and wanna write it down, grab you a pen and pencil, or you can watch this back. That's the other nice thing about it. Let me put this bacon in. I'm gonna make, um, hold on. I'm actually gonna make um, pimento cheese and bacon sandwiches for lunch. And I oh, and I do have a tomato. And if they like tomato, I'll put that on there. But anyway, back to the pimento cheese. I'm gonna try to chat while I do this. Um, Winifred, my best good friend Winifred, gave me this recipe years ago. And I'm just gonna kind of throw it together, okay? So I'm not gonna have measurements and that kind of thing, but you're welcome to watch it and tweak it to your own, okay? I had a lot of cheese left over because the macaroni and cheese that I made for yesterday's event, I didn't use all the cheese that I got, okay? So I'm gonna use this bag, which is four cups of sharp cheddar. And honestly, if you wanna make the absolute best rendition of pimento cheese, in my opinion, <clears throat> it's better if you get the block cheese and grind it yourself, and then you can use any cheese you want in pimento cheese. My favorite of all time is smoked Gouda and sharp cheddar, but I don't have smoked Gouda today, so I'm just using sharp cheddar. But you can use Colby Jack, you can use two different cheeses, you can use just one cheese. Today, I'm using just sharp cheddar, okay? Anyway, in saying that, I have put in about four cups of sharp cheddar cheese that I bought in a bag. Lord have mercy. I don't think the pimento man wanted me to get in this jar. There we go. Um, I'm going to simply drain these pimentos. Uh, yeah. And you're going to need a jar of pimentos. This one is a, hold on. Well, where's the ounces on this sucker? This is a seven ounce jar, okay? It's the bigger one, you know, they have them like this. And anyway, this is a seven ounce jar. I'm gonna drain it in my little drainer here. Nothing fancy. I'm gonna keep my jar though, because I don't know if I'll use all of them in this recipe. I may use just half. I think I will actually. My hands are clean, by the way. I always like to say that because people that are new to the blog sometimes we'll get sideways about that. And I get it. If you're eating it, I get that. Um, anyway, I'm gonna put half of those pimentos in there and wipe my hands with this clean washcloth. And I'm gonna add in um, a dash of Worcestershire. Wor Worcestershire sauce. And that's kinda to your liking. Can y'all see? Okay, good. Okay, good, I actually hit it first time this time. Wow. All right, let me swipe it back. Anyway, I'm gonna add a dash of Worcestershire. Now you can use hot sauce or you can use red pepper. It doesn't matter, either one, what you got. I'm gonna use red pepper and I'm just gonna do a dub dub, a little dash of that because I don't know this person and I don't know that they love heat or if they don't, or whatever. So I wanna make it kind of universal. And actually um, my favorite son Drew is home the favorite son, and he loves pimento cheese. So I'll have that for him in the fridge for this week when maybe mama don't cook. I'm gonna add in about a half a cup of mayonnaise to get started, okay? And I'm gonna use my cooking cutting up, keeping it real spatula. Yeah, I gave these away yesterday at that event. Sure did. Uh, gave them away with the purchase of a cookbook or whatever they wanted. Um, but I'm gonna mix this in, and then I'm gonna taste it to see what I wanna to add to it, okay? But the basic ingredients are mayonnaise, pimentas, and the cheese that you like, okay? Um, I love a good pimento cheese, and I use it on hamburgers, I use it on crackers, I use it on sandwiches. I've even used it in an omelet, so, you know, you can do what you want to with that. Let me grab another spatula. I'm gonna put just a little, Dub dub. Okay, maybe a third of a cup of, of uh, mayonnaise. And I like Duke's mayonnaise. I'm in the South. We're Duke's people around here, but you can use what you like. I just love Duke's. Anyway, let me give this a stir. And a 
look and a taste. Now you can add black pepper to this. You can add minced onion. Um, my, my guys don't like minced onion. They don't like onion taste in their fermented cheese, so this is how I do mine. Now once in a while I'll put um, cubed jalapenos in it. And as a matter of fact, what I might do is divide this in two. That is what I'm gonna do. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I have not seen squirrels. I just need to get something else out of the refrigerator. Okay, here we go. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. Let me grab another bottle. I'll just use this. It's clean. Anyway, <clears throat> all right, let me give this a taste real quick. Make sure I got enough mayonnaise and enough red pepper and enough dub dub of Worcestershire. And let me grab, oh, I got a fork here. Here we go. Um, let me just give it a taste. Let's see if that's how I like that. Mm. It needs another dash of this. I'm just saying. That gives it just a little bit of, I don't know, sharp flavor. I don't know. Sharp cheese got that got that in it, but that Worcestershire just adds a whole nother element, in my opinion. All right, now let me taste that. Let me get a clean fork. What's one more fork to wash, right? Yeah, that did. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna divide this up. I'm gonna have two more things to tell y'all, so don't let me get off of here without telling you two more things. I'm gonna keep the biggest part with no jalapenos. We use corn chips with this too, as a dip. We love it. Anyway, well, the hubs don't love that. Let me be honest about that. Let me get a clean fork. I'm gonna just get me a scoop or two of these diced jalapeno peppers. And that way, I'll have one of each to offer to whomever comes in. It won't be just plain fermented cheese. It'll be, would you like fermented cheese with jalapeno? Or would you like fermented cheese without jalapeno? 